Well, it looks like NATO allies are breathing a sigh of relief after a contentious meeting with President Trump. Today, he held a surprise news conference claiming he got what he wanted, but it's not clear exactly what he accomplished. Devin Skilling is working this story and will be joining us later at 5 o'clock for more details on that story. All right, let's see what is coming up next. Plenty of fireworks on Capitol Hill today as a special agent for the FBI denies he let political bias actually affect his investigations during the 2016 presidential election. Peter Strzok is the agent who texted anti-Trump messages with his girlfriend. He was later removed from the Russia investigation because those messages gave the appearance of bias. Disagreement over why he was removed led to this tense exchange. My testimony, what you asked and what I responded to, was that he kicked me off because of my bias. I am stating to you it is not my understanding that he kicked me off because of any bias, that it was done based on the appearance. If you want to represent what you said accurately, I'm happy to answer that question, but I don't appreciate what was originally said being changed. I don't give a damn what you appreciate, Agent Strzok. I don't appreciate having an FBI agent with an unprecedented level of animus working on two major investigations during 2016. The congressman is referring to the early Russia investigation and the Hillary Clinton emails. A Department of Justice watchdog report found no evidence that bias affected the 2016 investigations. The infamous murder of an African-American teenager back in 1955 is now being reopened. The Justice Department says it has new information. 14-year-old Emmett Till from Chicago was accused of whistling at and grabbing a white woman in Mississippi while visiting relatives. His murder galvanized the civil rights movement. Two men were tried and acquitted, both later confessed and since died. A new book has claimed the woman who reported Till may have lied. She is now 84 years old.